Hello there. Okay, let's start. Um, yeah, I hope you had a nice week. <clears throat> My week was basically falling ill, being sick and getting healthy. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so um, long story short, I, I, I was um, sick for three day days. Did not did not even work. Um, which is really unusual for me. And normally I really always work. Um, I just um, did some stuff for my work, like reading my mails and chat messages, uh, doing some reviews. But yeah, um, I, I did, did not work that my full eight hours. Uh, and one day I just read my messages, uh, looked at the most important tasks, and after that I was going to bed and played played a little bit on the PlayStation Three. Um, and after that, that was. Kind of nostalgic to, to play really old games, um, be on on the couch, and be able to to just um, sit there on the couch with your controller. That's that's something that 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 really has a nostalgic feeling to me. And maybe I should do that more often once I finish um, working on my projects. Um, on the other side, I should focus more on my fo uh, projects to to be faster. And one thing I have been doing recently is I've been working without streaming because um, putting on the stream, especially when it's late um, and I have to work at the next day is always kind of an, uh, an um, psychological effort where I just think like it's just one hour and I don't, I won't get one viewer and if, if I get a viewer and he's going to, to, to really watch me, I'm pro probably going to, to turn off the stream anyways at any second. So it's not really worth it. And I'm I'm, I'm focusing on long streams. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to, to focus on, um, on short two-hour streams. And it's just, it's just better for the productivity sometimes. Just go back to your project and work on it because I I really love what I'm doing. I really love what I'm doing, um, and that's cool. Not many people can uh, can really say that about their their um, the things they do in their lives. I love my work. I love my hobbies, and I have beautiful cats. Unfortunately, the the, the cats are not there um, currently in another room. But hey, um, sometimes. It's good to to have a little little break from them and focus on some other tasks. So, speaking of which, let's go. Here's the game, and ah, I have to put my stream to my third monitor. And what I want to look at is oh no, my a macro isn't my macro isn't isn't working. So if a Mac macro that should follow the cam, um, the mouse, but it isn't. Why? So, to show you, this is the macro that I'm talking about, and this should follow the, the mouse. Um, it should follow the mouse wherever it Mon which, whatever which monitor it is pointing to. Oh, both scenes are, are um, oh, what? Something's broken about the, these macros. So 
thing is, some, somehow it's showing the wrong monitor. I don't get it. It's showing the wrong monitor. Oh, it's show showing the wrong s s thing. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, I I don't know what what, what is going on here. Okay, it looks like... I, I don't know, I just switched to another scene and uh, the macro now works as intended. Um, it might be because I uh, was dragging and dropping OBS from one, one monitor to another. Um, that might be the case. But, okay, what I wanted to talk about is... Um... I did go through my to-do lists and I shortened them up because I, I saw there were some things inside of them that I think uh, were unnecessary or did could, would look, cost me too much time and um, these funct these are the current sub steps that I want to do until I go back to my big list. And the big list is this one. Here we have the big list with 53 um, tasks. So we have to get going really, really fast. Um, if you ever want to go through this. And um, keep in mind, I took about six months for one task. So if I take uh, six mon mon months for every other task, yeah. Pretty much, um, I can can um, forget this project at, at all. So that, that's one of the reasons why I have to keep going um, and keep grinding more and more hours in. The other, the other, other thing is though, um, that big thing was a complete framework and a very powerful one, um, which was drawing in assets into the time maps, and that was very very. Um, very, very, very um, time intensive, and these tasks in comparison are nothing. I I did go through here, and I think the big, biggest one is to make the time maps, the castle time maps, power effects, because I will have to draw for that. But aside from the, that, all these tasks here, they're they're fun, they're they're easy to do, and um, they won't cost me as much time as this. The, the, the task that I had in here. I was really surprised how much time um, it took to, to do that task. Nonetheless, um, I will try to, to get these tasks done this, this weekend. And it is definitely in the reach of possibility to do that. 
So the first task here is disable preview function. Disable preview function. So what what do I mean with that? Let's go to the test level. So 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 here in the test level. Here in the test level, um, we can choose these um, uh, uh, um, time map things, and we can we the, these time maps, and we have a preview here at the brush, yeah, and. When I disable that, I would have to 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 um, code it. I will now code um, function inside of here. It's the random objects brush, and inside of there, there I will code a function. I will disable this preview. So what are we going to do? So we could do a lot of things here to to um, disable the preview. We either don't preview at all, or we put the alpha to to zero, so we don't see it. And in the in this in this slide here, oh, wrong to do list. In this to do list, um. It proposes that the alpha would be put to zero, but I'm, I think that's a stupid idea. Let's just let's just not, not um, let's just not create a preview. Yeah, that's the the right thing to do. Okay, so <clears throat> so under disable random, I want to have a toggle disable. Um, preview. Yeah. So if this is on, I don't want to create a preview object on scene. And that that creates a problem, though. And that problem is that I rely on. Having that preview object. So, uh, what do I do? We go through this code here, and then it says set up preview objects. And let's let's just take a look. What happens if you go down this road route? Goes yada yada yada. We, we could just return here if this um, has been put to true. Unfortunately, that will that will create a problem later. But you know that what? Let's <laughs> let's do it. What whatever. Um, I think I think this this is what we want to do and what we should do. And let's just fix the, the problem. So instead of reading this and trying to to put the alpha to zero or do some other bullshit, what we are not supposed to do is just disable it completely. Oh, the, the, it has three usages.
I have. I was a comment. I was thinking, why is this in here? And then I remembered this. Um, that sometimes unseen view is not called be and that, um, before this function. So, and that created a problem. Hmm. Okay. So, okay. Okay, I get it. I think I think th this is Ah, this is what we want, but there there's a way around this where we can still do this um how we want to. And that is in the create preview object um Oh, come on, where is this used? Where is this used? Okay, in the in the function um, create preview object, um, which is not used in that scene cell, by the way, so we can use it. Uh, we can modify it because, um, since it's always um, called before on Sitzin cell, which is a correspondent dwarf function. That means if we modify this function, we can actually. Um, make sure that we have an instance here in this preview or in, 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 in info, but we don't have to in, instantiate it yet. So we have, maybe we should start with if. And then we make else if. So in the first case, just say an instance is going to be the game object and then we just continue. We just don't instantiate the it and this will pretty much disable the preview. Next thing is now. So th this will keep everything from being previewed. Um, I think that's all already enough to, to change it. Let's let's just try it. Hopefully it uh, won't quit bug immediately. Recreate. At, at least we can get to uh, to to drawing. So this is null.
Yeah, let's just um, use another function here. So this is used to not use an instantiated object. Damn it. Uh, it still doesn't work. Same line of same line of code. Uh, maybe I, I yeah I, I picked I picked the the wrong um the wrong one. This is the draw bo a box function. Um. So only do this if this is not null. This um, destroying assets is not permitted in this line of code. I doubt it's th th that line of code. I think it's this line of code. So let's me be more specific here. It looks, it looks like um, that didn't work. weird it's really weird that, that it did still go into this line of code okay now it's it, it, it stopped throwing that error still I'm a little bit irritated why it did come up okay let's destroy these um clear Okay, now mm, there was still something. I wonder what's inside of there. Oh, it's because it will destroy um, things inside of these cells. So, yeah, okay, we can't have that. Okay, now let's go to the group function, which makes this um, way more unholy, but it works. 
That's a little bit weird that I can do this. Yeah, but it's still, it's working. Um, and I'm just happy that it does. Let's not, let's not keep wasting more time on this. Let's just call it a day. Ah, oh. Hmm. That was weird. Um, we'll see when this errors will come up again. We, we had some errors that were coming up again and again, and we also fixed them. So it's just keep keep watch keep our eye eyes on these this error. But let's just get rid of on one task here. Function to edit groups of time map infos and she colors size. Okay. <clears throat> so. A little bit to not have a preview, by the way. So, yeah. Let's keep keep the preview. Let, let's keep keep having a preview. It's just an option for what whatever reason someone would use this, but um, it's not not a, a a function that I expect many people to to look for. I just expect it to be there, to be honest. do yeah there's still a lot of um, more customization for the hotkeys and um and a custom expector is needed with this class um so this is the the base class for editing uh, whole chunks um of time maps at once it's a very powerful class but um it lacks, lacks a little bit of partial classes now it uses regions and um, you can I, I will eventually split this up when i when i say um, this um, this is going to the asset store then i will split it up into subclasses but right now i'm just not feeling it yeah and you can just call me i'm lazy Actually, that's kind of laziness. That's actually code. Um, but that's, uh, it's a little bit over over the, over the top. Um, in the in the um, pol polishing um, department, you can say so. With these these um, regions here, and what I want to do is I want to have a function where I can uh, basically click on a group of tile maps, just like we go in here, go into grid. What's that? Delete that. Go into this, click the par click one of these parents, and then you will be able to 
to have a whole group of time maps to be edited. Yeah. So the first thing is I want to, to create um whoopsie. What the what the hell? Um want to create a new function here. Edit uh, time map group settings. So we now have this function. <laughs> okay, come on. Um. We have now this have this function edit time of group settings. And what this this is supposed to edit all the time maps at once. And for the for that we we actually don't need a reference point. Don't need to What we want is basically a copy. of the base function that creates time maps, but where is it? It should be in here. It should be a really long function in here. Here it is. And we want to edit this function. We basically will do the same with us in this function, but we set everything. We want to set everything up with new values. So we kind of want to, to, to edit this function, just call it and edit it. But I just see that it's super, it's, it's written in a way that ah, quite does not correspond with that. Up to this point. Okay. So let's make this into. Let's split it in half. And this method will just call this method pretty simple.
Uh, the, we, I need it, I need this in both cases. We need the hierarchy parent. So I can make this void over here. Nah, I don't, don't need that at all. Okay, I'm a... Nah, let's go, let's go. Mm. So, at the first we we want the hierarchy parent, that is correct. But in one case, we want to, to have to construct this time up into that parent and in this case i want to 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 click the parent and edit the children so who we'll edit ch children and in this case it's false And the additional function that we did, uh, did just write in here is supposed to, to call this function and say true. True. And that's essentially all we need to do this dirty. Now I'm not sure if this is a good idea because there's going to be a lot of differences now. So first, here it starts, it's, it really needs to ask. Does this edit children? See how many up um time of selection infos we would get in there. In this case it would be six. So it would automatically detect now we have Six amount of layers. And then we just ask a lot of questions. Now I have to go to the end and see where it creates all those. Um, all those. So, here it creates them. If
Let's see what that may that does. We, we, we can get rid of this if clause because uh, it's going to be too annoying to work with it's 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 not going to to protect us from from executing anything So here we, we just code in. Um, it would be the hierarchy parent get component components and children. Have oh, selection info. The um, and then amount players. Dot game object. Oh, no, 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 dot, dot transform dot parent dot game object. So what 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 we essentially do here is um, we click click on this background and or this and then it goes through it finds the time up selection info, but we don't want this. We want to have this parent, yeah. And we, we can go, and we, if we have this parent, we then can go through this one, two, three, four, six, five, and just see what happens. Let's just change this structure here. Let's say if else. And in the case, we in, in this case, we can make sure that um, we always initialize this and then we just just go through everything and edit it <clears throat> okay so let's see if this works or not so there's a good chance that this will work but I don't I'm not sure Uh, additional functions. Edit the group settings. Um, okay, I think don't think we need the parent name. Sorting layer. Let's put this to two. Just edit the sorting layer. Nothing else. And there's an index exception. And we have. Index was outside the bounds of the array.
Now that hurts. So I think it, it didn't edit, edit anything, did it? No. So it was outside of the bounds, so it, this started at zero and it didn't find any. And it's that sucks. Oh. So we have a hierarchy parent. So now we have to, to edit this time map group setting. Ugh. Okay, that's going to be annoying. <laughs> so we have all these settings and there's really a lot of them and we have to read them out. Yay. So we need, first we need the amount of layers. Or else we can't we, we we can't work without that. And then we, we need to, to edit the group settings. And just I'd right here then. I guess. We, we then have to just reverse engineer the, the algorithm. Uh, Composite sorting layer. It's going to be the first the first one. We 
Which we just read that out. Okay, now this one is easy. The rest one will be... They, they are basically very easy um, algorithms like this. Now, quite easy to do, simple math, nothing special. But we now have to do that with every time of setting. And I want to test this out first. Okay, where is this um, defined? Okay, it's defined over here. So first of all, we don't want to create a event in these circumstances. Now we have to get the, the parent out. Yeah, this parent. Okay, now we should be able to, to test this, give it a, a small test. And for this test I will put this to 3 and just see if I click this. It, yeah, it, it finds it, it finds this layer and says, okay, starting layer 3. And then when I go through this, still have the null exception in the end. Our index, out of index. Hmm. Like, it doesn't find the first one here. But it did find it here. That's weird. Because I think this is the same code. So we, we have to, to keep an eye on that. First, let's just read out all the 
Ähm... Or the the um, information that is in here. Start order in layer. Now I have to to look look every time if if the length is um, bigger than than one. Eh. If amount players um, is bigger than one. Else, else this will um, fail. If we, ex for example, just pick up this one, one j edit one in the gr a group of one, and then we can't pick the second element. Um, else, I mean, this is going to be ugly. This is going to be ugly. Oh, I think I think it doesn't matter. I, I think it doesn't matter if it's more than one. The algorithm will, won't do anything with that. So let's go through the next. What what comes after that? So we don't have to reverse engineer the <coughs> the the um. Actual um, algorithms here because we we can we can get the information right from the right from the um, results that we that that we get. Um, so that's nice. So start order in layer. Start X shift. So what what the hell is that? Shifting speed. Speed. Oh. oh come on. Okay, that's hard. So the speed is calculated through the distance of two points.
Ah, there we have a uh, change selected distance coroutine. And there should be a calculation. Ah, there, there it is. Then we can go back to this error and just use the same line of code. Okay, which one is parallax transform? Oh, this one. Okay. So we start with zero and plug it in here. Use the same calculation, but plug in the first layer. Okay, it's a little bit hard to read. I will really get over that. I've seen worse, and this is how we go. This was the the hardest one, I hope. So, which one is next? So we have this shifting speed. Fortunately, we just had a had a function for that. I was not look. I'm not looking forward to to um, calculating that. Um, Then the start, the, the scale, then comes the scale. Okay. We're a little bit lucky that most of these algorithms are fairly easy to calculate. Um, so scale, offset, empty cells. Okay.
scale, simple, off, scale offset empty cells. Just a, a whole lot of setup. And then it comes to the start and end color. And that's it. Okay. That's okay. It's nice. And now I've forgotten where my code is. There it is. So. Unfortunately, we can also just read that out. That is a float. Hmm. Not sure if the color uh, color calculation is would be right. Okay, but it's for the first thing. Now let's go on and see. We have a problem. This function. It looks pretty much like the same function as we are using before. Hmm.
I'm sure. I think that. Yeah, I think that that's. Um, we don't want to edit the children if we want con to construct it. But still, why is this a problem? Transform parent game object. I think they, that maybe we use the the selection. No. So how? How is this possible? So it seems to get the the right values out of this. Yeah, it gets the, the right values out of here. That's really, really nice. Except for this empty cells per draw, I have to look into that. And then it says out of bounds. And line 712. I say that's bullshit, that's... It should look harder. That can't be. Now, first of all, I want to look into empty cells per draw. So we here we have four. Ah, we have, we have, we have to calculate that. Ah. Ah. It works if, if we start at zero, that we don't calculate. But if we start at one, we have to calculate it at any given number. So, um, if I use this setting here, I have to make sure that I um, take into account the start order. Now, how do I have to do this? If this, this is one, the start order, and the next one is two, then it's increase by one, and, and this would be two minus one, it's one, it's an increase by one. That's correct. And yeah, basically that's question uh, answered. Vice versa, it would be minus one, and that's not correct. So inside of here, now we I do have to to calculate a little bit. But that's not hard.
Huh. Today I'm not, I'm not following my, myself with my with my Smurf account. I need my second viewer. Forgot about that. Okay. Um. So I fuck. I'm scrolling through here and I'm I'm t t totally desert and um. I'm like, what? What am I even doing? This is what I'm doing. I don't. For sh I don't understand how this cannot have a parent. How can this be now? So what is null? Is the hierarchy parent suddenly uh, null? I want to offer promotion of your channel viewers, followers, views, chatbots. The price is lower than any competitor. The quality is guaranteed. Um, trash. <clears throat> I 
And I was happy about the chat message. Uh, it's just a bot. But it happens. Okay, let's let's go on. Highway component, get components uh, in children. Mount of layers. So the hierarchy pivot is most likely not uh, null. Is it? Let's just debug lock what, what, what is null here. And let's just um, let's just um, try to to find what what the hell is null. Okay, and then we can maybe get an idea. What the hell is going on? So let's select that. Nothing. Oh. Um, it just immediately out of bounds. Oh, of, of course. <laughs> of course it's not. I have to put in one, uh, I. And the amount of layers is one too big. Yeah, okay. So that that should solve it. Yeah, that's a Wookiee mistake. Um, happens to the best. So the end scale is zero seven. Yeah, that's about right. The Color is not right. And now we have a null reference. And because we didn't co copy it. No. Oh, come on. Did put in a bracket that I didn't want.
trying to set everything up. Well, it's, I really don't like the if else structures that that um, uh, are coming up everywhere now. Meh, meh. I have to, I have to, to still catch that. Um, what happens if I don't select anything that has um, a group inside? Let's actually go for it. Where's this new function? There it is. Just check um, that we selected a valid target. So one. We need to have selected something that has this time map window and time map selection info. So we need to be in, in, in a part of our custom structure. There's no valid uh, time. Time up groups. Um. Okay, that should should have fixed all the issues. So now if I select only this and say, hey, edit this. <laughs> okay, that, that failed. Oh, it has a time above there and the sele selection info. I need to, to look for parallax transform. My bad. Where was I editing here? Okay, now if I only select this and want to edit it, tells me selected parent has no valid time groups. That's uh, here. And if I select this, edit it. Oh no, that's that's not that, that's not a valid target. Okay, now can I edit this? Oh, I I I still have one issue, and that is with the color. About I get to to the brushes again. Okay. Okay, and then I get this error.
Okay, so there's two, two more things that we need to do. First, the color. Second, we need to to get the Russian side. Yeah, that's that's going to suck, but it's got to be done. So since the the the, the uh, color, the grayscale is calculated with the grayscale right like now. Let's just do this with the R value. I know I know it sucks, but how did how did we do this? it here This needs to be cut. This needs, needs to be a color. Now we should be able to display the white color. And the last thing is the correct brush. Uh, brush. If we fix that, then I would say we can even, even call it a day for now. Um, because, to be honest, after that, this, this task will be finished. And looking at the task on here, if this is the one that, that sucks the most. Yeah, then there was. The, I, I'm really happy to to if, um, have something else to to fix soon.
So here's the brush picker window, and here's the function. So let's let's give this a brush quick brush base. Um, So first we want to, the, the option to, to select um, the right brush. I'm not sure right now. What's this option list? What's this plate when we open this? The options. And on, on OK. done with these brushes ah. ah okay so it, it will it will it will um, display these option list um, Okay, this should select the right option if if we give um, a grid brush spray base. I'm not 100% sure. Then we have to cast this grid brush from its name. Oh, oh, we, we just, we just need, we can't, since we, we, we are just 
comparing the the, the um, name, we can actually just give it a string. We don't need. Um, And inside of the info, where do we get the, the info from? It's from tenap copy dot get component time selection info dot Rush. Okay, let's let's try out if this is going to work. Now, these two changes we have here is first, it should display the correct color. Now, ah, it's still black. So there, there's a problem here. And now, it seems to find the correct. Rush? No, it doesn't. It did set this brush, though. But let's reset that. Ah, that, that sucks. So both changes failed. Um, so I'll try that again, but I'll be right back. Short um, toilet break.
Okay, here we are back. So, ah, what, 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 what a mess. So we have a couple of errors. So first, first, um, we have this error here. I have no idea what what the hell it is. Um. Not set to an object. So it couldn't find this. That sucks. Hey, <laughs> just got a visit, a visitor, a visitor. Okay, no, let's let's get going. So this parallax transform has not been set up, I guess. This is why undo object may not be null. So um, inside of here it puts in a parallax land transform, okay, but it's null. So this <laughs> this actually is a very safe method. With this selected, it should get all the parallax transforms inside. Maybe I did. Maybe it was because I did select something else in between. Yeah, then then it might fail. So I have to 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 um, look out for that. So, first one is the color. I mean, the completely wrong co color team. Ah, there it is. The color. 
Then the color. And what the hell am I doing here? Color minus color minus start color. Oh dear. It should be just this time of color minus this color. So let's say the first color is da completely um, dark. The second one is 111, a little bit of gray. And it's 111 minus 000. zero, zero. But it will, um, the alpha value will. Um, the alpha values will um, eradicate and be zero. They are increased, that's correct. Okay. That should, could, that should fix the color problem. Now to the brush. I, be, I bet uh, uh, I messed up the, the brackets again. No, I didn't. Let's just debug lock what kind of um, rush is there. So I can just press enter here. The color now is correct. The brush is not. Let's cancel that. Let's just edit one thing here and see if it will go through. Yeah, okay, my uh, my bad. I, I actually have to to pick the right function. What a mess. Okay, here it goes. Color is correct. And here it displays this message. It displaces the right um, name. But this selection is not right. Okay. So we have all we have to do is go inside of this function and see what happens to this debug.log two. Okay, I, th I think setting selected will not do anything. Certainly will not. So we have to do this kind of weird sort of fear.
Ah, now we have to find out how do we select an option. Uh, and that's actually a serious question now. Actually, it was a good idea to start um, that selected, and then It's not the select that we want. Come on, give, just tell me the parameters, come on. Uh, I don't I don't have an idea here. Somebody would just give give me a good option how to select something from a drop down menu. Um default select drop down option Drop down value.
No. That's not what I want. Okay, that I was doomed from the start. Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> I have no idea. Something's with this with this state now, okay. So where the hell is this? What the hell? Where the hell is this file now? Where did you Where the hell did, did, did it put the file? What the, f what the fuck? Okay. Okay, just they put it in into the root for some reason. I have to 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 get it out of there again. Um, that's a little bit weird. It's now in inside of here. Um, I just used the the auto com auto complete completion for the variable names. Um, there's no reason, no reason at all that we have, um, to put it in there. But shit happens. So where are the assets? Okay, back you go.
That's the real question. How do, do I change the drop down menu value? It's <laughs> I don't understand this. What what the hell is this does this even do? Can I just, can I just um, read this? Maybe, maybe there is an option. Selected in the index. Yeah, there is an object. Uh, there is an. Option. Label selected index. Eight options. So this should already select the the right option. So maybe I was wrong and it did not go inside this code. Okay, so let's see. Okay, that, that took a little bit of time. Just um I think I think it's just because um, the the mess coding is a little bit cryptic. Oopsie. So it actually said true. Um, then let's go on and display what you plug in there. Two, two. Zero one two. Interesting. Mm. 
So if I, what, what would happen if I would say... I give this a 5. Will it then, then select an, another option? Yeah, then it will pick number 5. So it's working, it's just not working as intended. So, now I have to just find out what value we have to put this on. So it will... Uh, maybe... Ah... Uh, Let, let, let's do this again with a leaf brush and see what, what kind of value it is now selecting. And if it's going to say 2 again. No. And we have, we have to, to give it Options, optionless count, minus one, typical array. Um, problem, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 okay, of course. Optionless minus one. And now it, now it should display the actual selected brush. And let's just not change anything here. Okay, and then it says... That it didn't get a parallax transform. God damn it. Oh, this is bullshit. So for each parallax in transforms in these transforms in these transforms are actually added because they have parallax transforms. So why would they be null? Holy shit, what the fuck? That's weird. Come on. Can I have some easier... Uh, <laughs> um, tasks today? I'm not feeling... Feeling like having all the hard tasks. I, th that's... That's just normal as a programmer. You always get the hard tasks. Let's let's just see where the um Parallax transforms disappear. Doesn't make much much sense sense, but whatever. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, it's not coming from this function. No, oh, I, I didn't see it. it has multiple usages. Came from this line of code.
Okay, it seems like I mis misjudged here. Let's just use this function, go in here and say I want you to change the um, sorting layer back to, to 1. Everything else should actually just work. Um, power lag speed, I don't care. Start scale, I don't care. 0 0.5 and scale 6 offset in the end 
and in the end I want to be really really dark. Let's keep the brushes. We, we see we have seen that it worked. And this is really really dark. The layer is sorting layer is one again. And the offset is six. So and min scale is 0, 05. The start also looks alright. Let's look at one in the middle. Yeah, that looks uh, reasonable. Yeah, that's reasonable. Perfect. Now we have to still make sure that the old uh, option still works. Set up time map. Just do it with default values. And I just want brush brushes. Disable this one. See if this one works. Okay, <clears throat> everything seems to work just fine, except for this um, error message. If you disable the, the preview. Ah, what do we do? What do we do? How do we how do we check Unity? How do we check if it's part of an asset? asset. Check if object is part of an of, of an asset. Not sure if this is going to fix the, the, the shoe. Oh, I... Actually, this fixed the issue. Okay, it actually worked. Good. That means for today, I can just go inside of here and that is get that get commit message um at parallax. Um, group functions, something, something, hit push, and we're safe to go. That's nice. So, another task complete, and that was actually a task that could have taken much, much longer. Um, so, I'm okay with that. The next one will be change main menu sprite 
That's actually, um, yeah, I will have to, maybe I will have to take out my draw, drawing tablet again. I've not done that for, for forever. Um, and I don't know if it's com compatible with, with my laptop. So, yeah, that's a big question mark. Clear player script? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ah, task, but it has to be done. Look ahead for mouse. Now use Nocti attributes for player skills. Goes hand in hand with the player script cleanup. Um, nothing special to be to be uh, honest with these tasks. Um, look ahead for the mouse. Now I want to to if if you if you point the mouse to any position. I want to, to look at ahead and see where the um, player would, would be looking at. So you have the preview um, where you can over overwrite where your character is looking at when you point your mouse to a point. So uh, that's nice for aiming, for example, or just to to have a function to, to, to look around the level when you're standing still. Um, we work crossbow man and noble upper body. Yeah, yeah there, there's a bug with the upper body of them. And I think the main issue was um, with the, both of them. Um, they they are not displaying their animations out of frame. And that's that, that's with all of the figures uh, the the issue right now. I have to to undo this because this is causing. Um, issues in the animation. Sometimes if figures are outside of the screen, they display the wrong animation. I've noticed this several times and it's really annoying. So this is something there that is going to be done tomorrow. Hopefully. Yeah, so <clears throat> um, we are back at editing and small little details about the public script, but that has been done and now there's no more subtasks or tasks that I have to do with that um, for now. So I can finally just focus on the game again and try to make a lot of improvements there and just bug fix the hell out of it. Um, yeah, <clears throat> so right now it looks like I'm, I'm getting towards a point where I can say, "Hey, I can get out in, in the next patch." It's going to going to be not too far away. Um, just have to keep believing, <laughs> and um, yeah, I will. I will um, increase my hours after after my my um, actual work. But I will not stream everything anymore because I found out these the one two hour streams they're not worth the effort. They they are more um, it's more it's just not fun to put out the whole stream when I don't have many hours to to stream it. Um, I will just stream when I really have have at least three hours free time um, because I just I just don't like to have less. Um, since it it takes a lot of time to put up the stream, start it, um, open open it up in multiple tabs, have OBS open, set up, check the music, um, do the timers, um, and then I can go on and stream. And then when I end, I have to still do some work, and that's just a lot of time, man. That that means it's not worth the effort if I don't have a lot of time. If I just have an hour. And then, yeah, because I just still want to go on, I will I will um, work on the game without the uh, the stream a little bit more, just to to make sure that that I can really get this done until summer. And yeah, <clears throat> after this asset has been done, which took forever, but it has been done, I can finally relax a little bit. And do the, the game, what are the the actual fun thing? So, see you. 
I hope you have a good night and I'll be sleeping now. See you. Goodbye.